Does your body speak to you? My name is Kate Kibara. I'm a clinical nutritionist and a colon hydrotherapist. And we'll be discussing how to decode warning symptoms once they come to you so that you're able to either check on diseases when they're developing or you're able to keep your health okay on the overall. So what are these warning signals that you need to look at? We're going to look at seven uh, warning signals and we're going to decode them or know tips of how to counteract them if they ever happen to you. Sometimes simple things like a pimple on, my, on the face for ladies, it should be a sign that there's something happening in your inner being. Or if you're frequently getting colds and coughs, all of us, this happens. Or if you feel your energy levels have gone low, it's actually your body speaking to you, it is telling you something. And that's why we are told in this day and age, and especially with the increase of cancers, diabetes, and these diseases, that it is important to have regular checks by your doctors so that you're able to decode these symptoms. Because sometimes if you catch something when it's early, you're able to prevent or manage. So the seven most important uh, body checks that you need to have are as follows. Number one, you need to check your digestive to have your digestive check. What does this mean? The digestive system is the most important in terms of assimilation of the nutrients, and it's also what gives you the energy and it's what gives you the health that you have today. So the digestion check, what are the symptoms that you need to look at so that you can decode before it's too late? Do you frequently get like stomach bugs or is it very, uh, very difficult to shift uh, a stomach bug or an infection that you have? Do you always have problems digesting certain foods? Are you always bloated? Do you always get gas? Are you gaining weight? These are small symptoms to look at to tell you, okay, my digestive system is not 100%, so I need to change one, two, three things, or I need to improve on certain things that I'm doing in terms of what I'm eating, how I'm combining my food, maybe I'm not drinking enough, enough water. And once you've done that, you're able to counteract these effects as they come. Secondly, um, another most important check is your immunity check. Your immune system is the one that keeps you in control. So are you getting frequent colds? Are you getting frequent co uh, coughs? Is it very difficult for you to shift an infection? Have you looked at the diet that you're taking to ensure that you're taking foods that are boosting your immunity? Have you checked your lifestyle? Is it something that you're doing that is making you uh, reduce your immunity? Is it something that you're providing in your diet? So it's important to check. If you don't have a condition that is making you go through this, also just think about it. Where am I getting this too often? Maybe I need to change my lifestyle. Maybe I need to change the foods that I'm taking. Number three, another important check is your reproductive check. Are you having a problem with your hormones? And even today we have a lot of cases of infertility. We have uh, cancers of the reproductive system. Do you have problems related to your reproductive system? Then work closely with your gynecologist. We're even being told for problems like for, for, for these cancers, breast cancer, prostate cancer, go for checkups early enough, even uh, cervical cancer. When you go for your checkups early enough, it, it will be easy for you. To, for it to be diagnosed and for you to prevent. So check and also find out which foods can I eat? Which foods can I eat to improve my, um, my reproductive health? You know, foods that are high in antioxidants, food, are, food, are, food that are high in nutrients, things like mushrooms that have both, uh, or soy products that have both the, uh, uh, plant, the that have proteins and plant-based uh, estrogens that will actually help with this, reducing a lot of fatty foods. And all this put together plus a healthy lifestyle will help in improving your uh, reproductive system. Another check is your energy check. Energy levels. Energy stimulates action. We know this in physics. So when it comes to your health, do you feel like as the day goes, you don't have energy by the time it's late in the evening or your energy level reduces at the, as the day goes? Do you find it very difficult to wake up in the morning or very difficult to even exercise at the gym because you really want to do it but the energy is not there? Is it difficult for you or, or do you find that you actually need to take like coffee or something just or an energy drink for you to have energy throughout the day? Check your lifestyle, check your diet. Are you drinking enough water? Are you combining your food properly? Are you taking too much of the refined carbohydrates that will actually steal energy from you? 
you need to balance by introducing uh, foods that are high in fiber, you know, the complex carbohydrates that will give you uh, glucose throughout. You also need to drink enough water, include foods that are high in energy, you know, live foods, a lot of salads, fruits and vegetables, and also exercising to ensure that your system is active throughout to protect you, protect in fighting diseases and to give you the energy that you need every single day. Another important check that we sometimes ignore is our memory and mood check. You find as we age, and this is normal, our memory may be reduced by certain things. You start forgetting names. You find sometimes that it is a natural thing that is happening. But if you, if you find that you're getting frequent problems with your memory, you're even suffering from insomnia, it becomes very difficult to sleep. You find that it's also very difficult for you to remember names, to remember things. Are you stressed? Are you eating the right foods for your brain? Sometimes things that will make you uh, lose your memory capacity or reduce your memory capacity could be things like taking excess uh, alcohol. You know, alcohol kills your brain cells. So these are things that you need to look at and then reintroduce foods that are healthy and actually that are used in feeding your brain. Things like baby corn, a lot of uh, whole grains, whole meals contain minerals that are excellent for having that brain uh, and your memory checked. You also need to drink water and of course a healthy lifestyle for this to work 100% for you. And then the final check that we actually don't look at or uh, that is ignored a lot of the times is your colon check. The bowel is the most important organs yet the ones that we ignore the same. So one check to, uh, a basic check to look at when it, a symptom to look at when it comes to your colon. Two things, Do you get re, are you getting reg, two bowel movements in a day if you're taking three square meals? If this is not happening, then you need to ask yourself, where is that food? Does your stool smell, have that unpleasant smell? Does, is your urine dark? You know, small things to check, as much as the urine is not connected to the bowel, but it shows you whatever that you're eliminating may not be okay. Is your skin, are you getting problematic uh, skin? Do you get a lot of acne? It also tells you the skin acts as a third kidney and when you have a problem with your bowel, if you're retaining a lot because of the food that we eat, then this will show automatically in your skin. Remember, 80% of your immunity is in your bowel. So if your bowel is not healthy, you're not able to control this immune system. You're also not able to take in the nutrients that you're supposed to do because, the, 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 because as the food passes through the small intestines, the, le uh, the largest uh, organ for our absorption of nutrients, you find that by the time you get into the bowel, whatever you're absorbing back into your system maybe uh, is water, which is already toxic because of the environment by, that have been created by an underactive bowel. So how do you control this? Drink lots of water, a lot of fiber, fruits and vegetables. Insoluble fiber is the one that acts as a broom and ensures that whatever you eat comes out of your system when necessary or when needed. These are just simple tips just to show you that if anything wrong happens or if you find that you're not feeling the right way or if there's, there's a symptom of something small, it's always good to decode it early enough because prevention is better than cure. Well, we sure do hope that you enjoyed your fitness workout and uh, you've got those health tips and, uh, you know, healthy foods. Indeed, that was a great workout. I hope you joined us. If not, you have some great ideas of how to get your sweat going yes, and just I, feeling I, I really good. I have with the trainer. Why? He just kept saying, Sophie, Sophie, when you have one to me, but anyway, we'll sort it out. We'll sort it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was, I was <laughs> motivation. Okay. I will be your motivation. She can sing as well, apart from just work out. I can. So tomorrow is uh, a great Friday that you don't want to miss because Michael will be with you on the show and some great hot topics to look forward to what has been happening. But one uh, of the local stories we'll be talking about, and we hope you will get uh, to be part of that campaign, uh, Size 8, the gospel artist. Her mm -hmm. mother has been unwell, and there's been this campaign to raise funds for her treatment, a right. kidney transplant. So Simama Namama Size 8 is that campaign. The hashtag, more details, you can get them on Twitter.
Twitter, but we'll talk more. Uh, you'll be talking more about that and, of course, other stories that have been trending on the entertainment scene. Yes, so do make sure that you join us tomorrow. We'll have a great panel. And as you know, on Fridays, we set up the weekend for you mm -hmm. and just get it ready. So it's a very easy show, so we'd like you to be with us. And uh, thank you also for today. I think uh, we've covered some ground on uh, matter security. We have. And uh, starting with Boniface Mwangi, you know, just highlighting that 147 is not just a number. True. Um, and uh, the things that you and I can actually do to ensure mm -hmm. that those that have have died and have been slain so so mercilessly uh, do not just disappear into a list exactly and it's conversations as a nation we must continue to have to be cognizant of the fact that we each have a role to play we must be each other's keepers uh, somebody was talking about the other day how you know they have no idea and many of us would attest to that have no idea who their neighbors are Absolutely. and so we might be shouting and making all of this noise but there is a responsibility that starts with us mm -hmm. but at the same time and perhaps even most importantly the government the security agencies our eyes are trained on you we are watching and waiting to see what will be done to ensure sure that Kenya is safe all over the country, no matter where everyone is. So that's where we wrap it up this morning. And thank you so much for being and keeping us company. Yes. Uh, we'd like to say a very good day to you. Enjoy Have yourselves. Have a lovely day. I'll see you next week, Monday. Take care. Mm -hmm.